Hello everyone, Toxic Flame here, and today I'm going to be showing off what I've done with Toxic Land so far. I've already gotten a good start on pretty much everything in Toxic Land, and um, I'm here to showcase all the things that are in Toxic Land so far. I'm going to try re uh, releasing it sometime this week. So, um, yeah, it could be released today, it could be released later, but yeah. So I'm not wearing any armor right now, but, um, I'll just tell you right now that, um, if you want a chance at surviving in this, um, toxic land world, you have to start off with net full netherite gear, so, yeah. Because I'm pretty sure everything here can one-shot you, or at least pretty close one-shot you. And, um, now the mobs like the, um, the passive mobs, which are the only mobs in this so far, are, um, they only attack you if you attack them first, so they're basically passive. But I'll give you guys an example, because, um, let me first put on some armor, then I'll hit one, and they can do some damage. So yeah, keep that in mind. They, uh, the things here can, the um, creatures here can do a lot of damage. And then you got berries. You got a load of um, types of foods you can eat here. You got the fruits that grow on the trees that doesn't look like they grow on the trees, but they do. Um, yeah. And maybe I can show you guys the uh, other fruit that naturally spawns here. There it is. My inventory is basically full, and I don't know what that's doing there. I think it's a beach ship. Alright. Again, these guys do a lot of damage. Oh wow, he killed me. But, um, yeah. I spawned on a mountain, so that's kind of cool. See, it's not instant break or anything. It's not too OP. Well, I call this the first set of tools you'll get, but, um, this is just like, um, the first set of tools that is very specific to this dimension. So, um, yeah. You can see... These tools, pretty good. I'll show you how to craft them in a sec. You got, um, the trees. You can mine them for wood, of course. Works the same as, um, normal Minecraft wood. Craft it into planks. Crafting table. You guys know how to play Minecraft. So, uh... Yeah, I'm just gonna show you guys off the, um, next set of tools. Oh, actually good thing to do is I should, um, spawn in and some enemies to fight with this sword. So, uh, just some enemies that you'll find in this dimension. So uh, here's the first oh. enemy, it's the villager. They spawn in the villagers you'll find around the toxic land. The villages can be kind of hard to find, but if you look hard enough and far enough, you'll probably find one. Kill them, simple as that. Uh, that's, that makes a lot of noise. But uh, next up, I'm gonna spawn in a chicken. You can easily kill it. it. Spawns in this dimension. In this dimension mm. specifically, they spawn in all dimensions because um, yeah, why not? Mm. But uh, this is the main dimension they're mm. supposed to spawn in. But uh, yeah. Mm. Takes two hits to kill them with the toxic sword. Now I'll show you guys the uh, bone sword. And 
we already tried the villager, but crit hits with the axe. <laughs> Swapping it out for an axe that does less damage. See how many it takes. One, two. Will it take three? No. Four. Yeah. yeah um. Yeah. There. That's 14, 16, 18, and of then, of course, the, um, yeah, whatever. Yeah, I see. Um, yeah, so, uh, now time to show you how the, um, bone stuff does. We already saw that. All right. It's about the same speed as a netherite axe. Uh, using a netherite axe on um normal wood, normal oak wood, or something like that. About the same speed. But uh, yeah, it also has a way lower dur. The bone stuff has lower durability than everything else here. But, uh, yeah, I can just throw that away. Yeah. None of this stuff's too good. See, that takes forever to mine with your fist. That's why you need a shovel for it. And it gives you the, um, toxic shards, which I'll show you guys the crafting recipes after this. Anyways, yeah, performance for that one. Anyways, what you guys probably really want to see is what you can truly find in this dimension. So I'm just going to quickly go to spectator mode. And uh, let's see what's the first thing I'll find. This is something else. Usually I'm finding a bunch of ores left and right. Don't tell him I messed up the ore spawning. Uh, maybe it's too high. Yeah, it's way too high. Well, I found a village that is not where it's supposed to spawn, but whatever. Oh uh, yeah, a very strange sight to see, to say the least. Yeah, I don't see any of the farms that are supposed to spawn in the village. Very, very strange. So, uh, I'm gonna see what else there is to see. See what's over here, nothing much. Okay, so, um, here's an underwater cave, I think. Oh yeah, it's an underwater cave. Same with this one, underwater ravine this time. Yep. But, uh, yeah, you guys can see that there's a whole bunch of ores that can spawn here, and, um, yeah, you use those to, um, craft better tools. <coughs> yeah, this seems to be above water, but it's not deep enough for, um, the, some of the other ones to spawn. By some of them, I mean one of them. But uh, now I'll show you guys the recipes real quick. Alright. It's a bit laggy, but um, yeah. So, uh, first crafting recipes is, of course, the toxic dust. Essential for creating uh, s some toxic uh, equipment. So, mainly it's used for the toxic axe and shovel. You see here is two of those. And uh, over here, same thing. But the first ever thing you'll craft in toxic land is the bone equipment. Which uh, isn't 
very exclusive to toxic land since bones also generate in the nether so you can make this in the nether too but uh yeah and uh yeah the next thing you'll be crafting is blue uranium this is not its actual name it's not blick uranium it's blue uranium um but yeah you've got all the armor sets you got the blue uranium armor and yeah and then we got the uranium stuff we got the uranium shard that you get from the uranium you can craft a chest we got um some talk doors some stairs some slabs you got also dark matter look at this amazing texture you got all the dark matter equipment and then you can also craft an anvil here which doesn't require too many resources it only requires some of the more common resources and um so far the um best item in this game the best set of tools and stuff is the black matter stuff dark matter black matter whatever you want to call it um yeah <laughs>